This is from Seek Thermal. So this is the Seek Nano 200 and the Seek Nano 300. Now what's the difference on these? They both use the interface of your cell phone, which is pretty cool. Now the 300 is in red and the 200 is in black. So you see this has got that little red center dial. But both of these are thermal imaging cameras. You talk about something that you could use in another emergency. Now when I plug this in, it wants to open up my Seek Thermal app. Let me do that one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and allow it. Now instantly, you can see that it's actually looking at me. So there's a thermal image now of yours truly. You got the cold beard going. <laughs> <laughs> and that's looking directly out of here. Now, I can do it in a couple different ways. I can look at the overhead camera directly there. So I can flip this over and I can look around my office. Now the cold spot, my air conditioner up there is cold. My computers down there are all warm and you can see this is the Seek Thermal Nano 300 right now. It's giving me the hottest and coldest points in my studio right now including looking at the same camera. There's my GoPro that I look, that I use uh, for the studio. There's my laptop. So you can use this in your home to find drafts. We're coming into the winter. If you're wondering why your house is always cold, you grab this. You don't necessarily need the resolution. People are like, oh, it's, you know, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 megapixels, whatever. Um, you don't need that same camera resolution when you're looking thermally because you're looking just for hot and cold. You're not looking for fine detail. This is a thermal image that's taken in my garage <laughs> against an outside wall of my house. And you can see the, the level of detail here. So there's something really hot and the heat is actually going up my wall there. There's some, some hot uh, wires over in this area. Now it has a app. This is just a static image that the app took, but it can take video. And I didn't get to do that, but if we take a look at this, this is actually what you're looking at. It has the ability to superimpose a traditional image. That hot thing was my gigabit router. Uh, especially a plumber could use this if you're an electrician, if you're an HVAC, all of those trades could use these Seek thermals. This is when I open my circuit panel. If you're looking to see what kind of circuits in your house maybe are getting loaded or have a lot of load on them, you can see the color right there of that circuit breaker is 17.8 C. So not incredibly hot and you can change this to Fahrenheit scale in the app if you want. Uh, this is an outside wall to my house and so the sun was beating on that wall over there. We haven't patched above the, the circuit breaker yet. So you can see that that area was a little bit warmer. There was a box on there which is actually cold. See that's the, the darkest area. I'm using the the one that is the 320 by 240. That is the Nano 300 here. The resolution on the other one is 200 by 150. So it's gonna be a little bit less resolution on the thermal. Uh, this one is actually my hot water tank. That thing that looks glowing coming out of it is actually insulation around my water tank here and the expansion tank there. So the expansion tank's cold, the condescent line's cold, but you can see where the hot water is coming out. So lots of really cool features in the Seek Thermal world. Um, this is gonna work on your iOS, your iPads that have the USB-C, or if you get the Lightning one, it's gonna work on those as well. So if you're a contractor, don't leave home without one of these. So these can definitely help you find some of those energy wasters here in the winter. I wanna thank Seek Thermal for sending their products out for a fair and honest review. This is the Nano 300 right here, along with the Nano 200.